Hey guys, I am going to look at a problem. I've been requested to take a, a, a deeper look into 170. So this is uh, from CC2. So CPM, CC2, uh, the seventh grade textbook. And this is number I, or excuse me, 1 70. 1 70, okay? So this question is asking and saying, imagine that you have a bag of marbles containing 10 marbles of different colors. So we don't know the colors quite yet or how many of each color. But here it tells me that you have drawn a marble, recorded its color and replaced it 50 times. So in this bag, say this is our bag, right? Our bag of marbles here. We don't know how many of each color are, but what we did do is we did an experiment, right? We did an experiment and we kept pulling marbles out one at a time and we did that 50 times and then we recorded the results. So here's the results. We ended up with nine purple, uh, 16 orange, uh, six yellow and 19 green. It, that was our results. So after doing it 50 times. So our experimental probability, right? This is the experimental probability. So our experimental probability in this case for purple is nine out of 50. That's the purple. For uh, orange, orange is 16 out of 50. For yellow, yellow was six out of 50. And for green, green would have been 19 out of 50. So here's the deal. So it's asking us to, this is where it gets to be interesting. It wants us now from our experiment, this is our experiment we did. It wants us to make a prediction of how many marbles of each color are actually in the bag. So we know that there's only 10 marbles. I did the experiment 50 times. So I need to get all of these in terms of out of 10, right? So if I were to think about that, I want to, let me get a piece of paper here so we can. So I'm, I'm looking at this at saying, um, And that's out of 50. Okay, so I'm looking at this saying, okay, I know that in my experiment, I got nine out of 50. So, but reality, so let's just do that. So purple, oops, purple was nine out of 50 in the experiment. But reality is it's only out of 10 marbles. So if I were to try to get an approximation from nine out of 50 to something out of 10, what would that be? Right. This is so we're going to approximate that little symbol is approximate. So what what you can look at this. I don't know if you can see it with me here is how do you go from 50 to 10 here? If I divide it out by five, I would get that. Right. So what is nine divided by five approximately? How many times is five going to nine approximately? Well, approximately twice. So we're going to go ahead and say there's possibly two purple marbles. Let's see if that checks out as I do the rest of them. So orange, orange is 16 over 50. And again, I need to, I need to get that to be approximately something over 10. So once again, divide by five, top and bottom. And I look, how many times approximately does five go into 16? It approximately goes in three times. So we'll have a three out of 10. So now we're, we're guesstimating that there's gonna be ten, uh, three orange ones, okay? So then we look at yellow. Yellow is six out of 50. And again, I need to approximate that to be something out of 10. So once again, divide by five, because that's what I can do top and bottom. And six divided by five, again, is approximately one. Right. I can't put decimals up here. I couldn't make this a decimal or that a decimal because if I made them a decimal, then that wouldn't make sense because marbles have to be integers, have to be whole numbers. 
you can't have a decimal a, a fraction a piece of a marble here so they're whole marbles so green is 19 out of 50 so approximately what is that over 10 and once again divide by 5 what 19 divided by 5 is approximately how many times does 5 go into 19 well it's close to 20 isn't it 19 is close to 20 so 20 divided by 5 is 4 so let's check to see if this adds up. If this is, if all of my numerators, of all the different numerators, if they all add up to 10, then we're good to go, right? Because then we got it, we, we're saying there's 2 plus 3 plus 1 plus 4 is 10. So that makes sense to me. So we were going to, we're going to, we're going to, because of this now, I could say that there's uh, most likely two purple, there's three orange. There's one yellow and four green marbles. Okay, so that's what, how we would look at that. All right.